Let's install WLED on an ESP32 board. So this is an ESP32 board. This is the board that I use, and that's probably the most common for people to use for WLED. Let's go ahead and plug the board in using a micro USB cable. Now, go ahead and go to install.wled.me. So one thing to note, especially if you're on a Mac, is that you can't use Safari. You're gonna have to use something else. I'm currently using Chrome. So the first step real fast, especially if this is your first time, I recommend going ahead and installing the COM drivers. So to do that, go ahead and just hit no device found. And then you're gonna go ahead and choose one of these links. As you can see, the board that we are using is the square chip. So that is the one that we're gonna click on. It's gonna take you to this page. Go ahead and click on over to downloads, scroll down. And because I am using a Mac, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Mac driver. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up double click on the .dmg and then go ahead and just double click on the driver and then just follow all the prompts. There we are, driver's installed. So go ahead and go back to the web page. We can close this tab out. So the Windows version is a little bit different. Once you download the driver, just go in, right click and install, and then you'll be able to move on to the next step. But now that we're back to the website, go ahead and come on down and click install. And then it's gonna ask a serial port up here. So you're gonna wanna click one. Usually on Windows, it just shows the one, but I'm gonna click on the USB to UART one and then hit connect. Then go ahead and hit install WLED and then click install. So. If you get this message, I have not come across a board that doesn't require you to do this. All you need to do is hold the little boot button on the board while you click install. And then once the progress wheel and percentage come up, you can then release the boot button and the install will continue as normal. So let's go ahead and do that. Hold the little boot button, hit install, then install. As you can see, it's erasing. Just keep holding the button. Now the progress wheel is up so you can release the button and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and wait for this to finish. There we are, the installation is complete. Go ahead and just click next. So now it's gonna ask you to configure your Wi-Fi. You're gonna to wanna to do this so you can connect to it. So go ahead and just add your network name and the password. Then once all your information is inputted, go ahead and just hit connect. You now have WLED installed on your board. But before we finish and exit out, there's a couple more things I recommend doing. Go ahead and just go to visit device. And this brings up the actual board running WLED. So the first thing we're gonna change real fast is the address to make it easier to connect to. So go ahead and go to configure, go to Wi-Fi setup. Then you're gonna to wanna to go down to the MDNS address and change that to something that describes what the board's gonna be used for. So for mine, I'm gonna name mine kitchenled.local and then just go down and hit save and connect. So go ahead and open a new tab. Go ahead and type in HTTP kitchenled.local, hit enter, and there we are, now we're connected. So now you can connect easily using any browser with a URL that you made basically. And if you'd like to connect it to your phone and the WLED app, which I would definitely recommend, it's super, super easy. Go ahead and just go into the WLED app. Go ahead and make sure the board's connected to power and then click the plus icon in the upper right. And then we're gonna go ahead and click discover lights. And then as you can see, it said found WLED and three other lights. We're gonna hit stop discovery and hit the check mark. And now the new WLED light is right down here. Go ahead and turn it off real fast. But obviously WLED isn't the best name for it just because that's what they all show up as and it doesn't describe the board at all. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. Go ahead and click in. We're gonna go over to configure, go down to user interface, and then the server description, go ahead and change that. As you can remember earlier, we changed the address over to kitchen LED. So I'm just gonna name it kitchen LED, hit done. Go ahead and hit save. We'll go all the way back. And as you can see, it is now named kitchen LED. Well guys, that's it. You now have WLED installed on your board and different ways to connect to it. So we're ready for our next project. Coffee's cold.